So can you give us maybe the two minute version of what we need to do as a church to bring men back to the church and ultimately back to God? Well, I would say, first of all, learn that the process isn't to just go hit them with direct language right away. Like I would say, develop a, a way to bring them into an indirect world that they understand. So for us, we would do events and we would advertise the worship team. We would advertise the speaker. But for most men, they don't care about that. They don't really care who worships. They don't really care who speaks. They're coming for the experience and they want to know if they're going to feel comfortable in that experience. And so I remember the first time we tried this, I told our marketing team, we're only going to advertise the fun stuff. We're going to tell them we're going to do worship and a message, but we're not going to advertise who's doing it. So here's what we did. We, we called a motorcycle shop, a Harley Davidson shop. And we said, would you be willing to sell Harley Davidsons at our event? I'm not a motorcycle guy, but a lot of men are. And so they said they'd be willing to sell. And I said, here's what I want you to do. Bring a bunch of motorcycles, put them all over the church. And we were averaging about 200 guys, 250 guys that would come to our events at that time. And so we did this. We advertised Harley Davidson's partner with Gateway Men to do a men's night. We're going to have free food and worship and a message afterwards. And so we just, we just advertised that. Now, everyone in my world, in the church world, thought I was crazy. They said, you have to advertise the speaker. Guys come for the speakers. They won't know who's speaking. They won't come. They won't be a part of it. I said, they don't care about that. Just trust me. Just trust me. So we did this and that night over 750 guys showed up for the event and I didn't have any more seats. Like guys told me later they came and left. They all just kind of interacted as men. I ran out of food, which is not good. You have to have food for men. And I realized at this point that we hit, we found a key in their heart. But here's what was interesting. So we hung out, we had pizza, we did the motorcycles. We had worship, we had a message, we didn't dumb it down, we didn't change the worship songs to try to make them seem like a secular song versus a Christian song. It was all Christian worship with a heavy message. It wasn't like we dumbed down the message. At the end of the night, the altar call filled up and guys came rushing to just say, I want to give my life to Jesus. I want to connect with God, which wasn't a part of our culture. So it really it sounds crazy. But it took motorcycles to get the guys to come. It took the indirect, it took food, it took the stuff to get them to come. It was just interesting. It was an interesting process in how we figured this out. <laughs>